Well, this is a thing. So yeah, the final character for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is Sora that was revealed. So I just kind of want to say my thoughts on this because, you know, I like Smash and I just kind of wanted to say my take on Sora finally being in Smash and kind of just my thoughts on this game. Um, for me, you know, I've always said I've wanted three characters in Smash, uh, going into Smash 4, even on the Wii U's, Bowser Jr., Pac-Man, Banjo-Kazooie, and we've gotten all three of them, and I'm super happy, and I feel like that in Smash Ultimate, we've had some exciting fighters, and we had Banjo-Kazooie in there, and there are others, and it was very neat to see, you know, people like Simon, I like Sephiroth, um, the guy from Tekken, the name I can never pronounce, it was very exciting but I feel like there's also a lot of misses. Byleth and some of the other DLC characters for the Smash Brothers games as of late have been not as hype. And I feel like Nintendo really needed to hit out of the park with a character to end it off that was like, boom. I've always kind of have said this. And I was thinking pretty wild. Maybe we even get Goku or Waluigi or someone like Sora. And I do think Sora lines in this. You know, because... Kingdom Hearts is Disney and Final Fantasy crossover. You know, to have a character like Sora in this game is is really crazy. And I'm glad that happened. I'm not the biggest Kingdom Hearts fan. I'm not going to act like it. You know, I'm, I'm excited for my, my friends like Keem, uh, Flaming Kong, if y'all are watching. I know y'all love Kingdom Hearts. And I'm probably very excited. But I, I think Sora in the game is really neat. Um, it adds, I think... Uh, a taste of the RPGs, and RPGs are very popular. I know we have like 20 Fire Emblem characters in the game, but I think someone like Sora, you know, Kingdom Hearts, there's a lot of huge fans, and I think it really fits well into the game of Smash. The theming fits, you know. Kingdom Hearts games, they kind of have this epic fantasy feel, and that's what Smash is in a way. Uh, his moveset looks really neat. He looks very creative in the way they're taking his moves from the game and putting them into smash but still keeping some things the same i think with smash dlc we've seen people like um terry steve uh you know just characters who have been very different than the rest of the fundamental characters in smash sora seems to be very similar right he kind of reminds me of a pac-man type of character who is has his own moves you know from the game series but is still very similar to classic, classic fighters like Link, Yoshi, Kirby, Samus, Mario, etc. And that's something I do like about Sora. The stage they showed off really cool. I've, I know nothing about it. But this is just really neat. It is kind of bittersweet because this has been the last character for Smash. And I'm very happy. I don't want more. Yes, Crash and Spyro would have been neat. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like Sora is just happy you know i wanted a third party character and uh, i'm very pleased with with sore in the game and this smash thing has been crazy right really the past two smash games have been intense you know smash 4 you have mega man pac-man rosalina greninja villager all these new characters and then ultimate you have the previously existing characters plus stuff you know teaming up with you know microsoft you get steve and Angel Kazooie and Sony to get Sora and Sephiroth. It's just been insane. Capcom with Mega Man, Pac Man. It's really unique. Uh, also, Ryu from Street Fighter. I want to put in there for Capcom. And I just want to thank, say thank you to Mr. Sakurai for his endless amount of work. And part of me feels that this might be the last Smash game we get for another five years or so. I know you might be saying, Tanner, that's crazy, but. We haven't, you know, when did Mario Kart 8 come out? The Deluxe for the Switch, like 2018, 17. You know, with big games like this, Nintendo usually likes to kind of take their time with it. And it wouldn't shock me if this is the last Smash game we get developed by Sakurai himself. He has worked so hard for the past two games. And if he retires, in a sense, it wouldn't shock me. And I think he deserves it. This Smash cycle has been a whirlwind. I think, though, that they did the DLC very well of all. Yes, there have been some characters I wish we didn't have and some ones I wish we did, but I think it was paced out very well. And ending here for home run is just great. Also, I love Disney and Nintendo, um, and they're very similar. And I think having Sora, who represents 
a bit of the Disney universe. I don't know if we'll see like Mickey Mouse in his final smash. That is cool to see in a sense. So I'm just very happy about this. And overall, this development cycle of the Sora character um, looks neat. And this game, you know, development's been crazy. And it's been a, a, a really just wild ride. I would, I would be fine not having another Smash game for a couple of years. Maybe going new Mario Kart. Nintendo, please, where is Mario Kart 9 at? Maybe a brand new Mario Party game. I know we're getting kind of the one coming out this fall. That, that looks very neat. But, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for this. Um, Musa looks great. And Swords and Smash, it, it feels really nice to say. And this has been... Just kind of a crazy development cycle um, for the game. So thank you, Sakurai. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for watching as well. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Until then, everyone, take care and have a good one.